Cavaillon in southern France is famous for its Mediterranean weather, its medieval history and the quality of the melons grown nearby. Right now it's more famous, or infamous, for returning the biggest scores for France's National Front Party during regional elections. With the first of two voting rounds over, the far right have been a surprise success story. Their campaign, here as elsewhere, playing to voters' concerns over social instability and crime. If we cross the road here, we get to the estate. What do I see in these little homes, these islands, these housing projects? Quite simply, people who have had their cars burnt in front of them, opposite their own houses. I've seen it in Avignon, I've seen it in Cavaillon, I've seen it in Carpentras. It's the same problem everywhere, a problem of security. Rhetoric the National Front has been talking up to great effect. Their result of nearly 12% nationwide means they'll be contesting more than half of France's regional councils in the runoff vote on Sunday. After poor showings in recent years, it's a dramatic revival. As for the future, the National Front has now returned to the front rank of French political life. As a friend of mine put it, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Critics say their campaign is founded on scaremongering and xenophobia, and it's a tactic that's drawn voters back in the face of high unemployment and uncertainty. It's being seen as a vote of protest, but one which, as here in Cavaillon, may not have the desired effects. Some people who maybe wanted to vote National Front were mistaken about these elections because the local elections have no effect on security at this level. So voting National Front isn't a way to resolve a housing estate's problems through local elections. This may be the last campaign for controversial leader Jean-Marie Le Pen, who's now 81. But with his daughter and granddaughter both following in his footsteps, the National Front is now positioning itself to take these local successes to the national level.